<laughs> they probably couldn't even see that it's out of the frame. <laughs> Let's hold it up here. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like a <laughs> social oh, like distancing. A... So some of your handshake. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel if you've seen our videos before and if you are new, my name is Abby. My name is Hope. And we're the, the Disney, Disney Sisters. Sisters. Today we have for you guys a really fun pin tag that we have just created um, for Easter. Yeah. So we were kind of sitting and thinking like what can we do to really bring Easter into our home because as we all know um, a lot of the fun Easter activities that we're used to doing we can't do right now including the Easter egg hunt at Epcot. <laughs> Double tear. So sad. I'm very sad. Um, that was definitely a tradition for us yeah. and so this will be the first year in a very long time that we haven't done it. So we wanted to brighten our spirits by creating a pin tag. We haven't done one of these in a while oh. and especially like a new one and I think that it was fun to kind of get the creative juices flowing. So this one is called a Disney pin tag, the Easter edition or as Abby likes to call it, the Easter acrostic pin tag. <laughs> that is right. We're playing an acrostic. Woo! If you don't know what an acrostic is, usually it's a poem or like a story that's told in the form of a straight line going vertically of letters. So usually it'll spell out a word and then each letter will represent something or be the start of a sentence or... Yeah, so it's like somewhere. a capital letter will be found somewhere in a sentence that will connect, connect to, to make a sentence this way as well as yeah. this way. So we decided to do an acrostic pin tag today yes. with the word Easter. Easter. So E-A-S-T-E-R are the letters that we are going to be going with today. And um, I'm excited. Yeah. Let's just get into it. So our first E prompt is very simple. Show an Easter themed pin. Yep. So, could it be more straightforward than that? Easter. <laughs> and so, the pin that I have chosen for this prompt is this adorable one right here. This is a Tinkerbell pin, and she is standing next to a uh, Easter egg because it's striped and pastel. And it says, Happy Easter 2009. And she's almost like doing like a what now to the egg, which I think is really cute because she's kind of like leaning around it because it's huge. And when you open it, it actually has more eggs sitting inside the wow. big Easter egg. So lots of eggs on this pin. I think it's a fun Easter one. And this one is from um, 2009. I said that earlier. And it is a limited edition of 2000. My Easter pin is this one that I'm pretty sure I've shown before on the channel, but I just absolutely love it. It is the Pooh Gang. Um, celebrating Easter. So we've got Pooh who's got some dyed eggs and Tigger also has some piglets sitting in the little Easter basket and Eeyore is dressed Eeyore is as my a bunny. It's <laughs> so cute and I just love seeing them celebrate together and this pin is from 2002 and it's a limited edition of 3500 and it's just so cute. I love it so much. The prompt for the letter A is April, April Fools! <laughs> We actually don't have a prompt for A. So what we are doing for the letter A is we are making it a wild card. Yep. We've never done one of these in a pin tag. So you get to show whatever, whatever you pin want. you want. Mm -hmm. If you want it to be an Easter pin, spring pin, Christmas pin, April Fool's pin. Nothing to do with anything yeah. pin. This is your chance to show it. And we had so much fun just being like, pick whatever pin I yeah. want. So. <laughs> bet, you thought we had, bet you thought we had a prompt. <laughs> April Fool's bet you thought we were prepared enough to have a prompt. <laughs> 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 no. Nope. Fooled you. <laughs> so my pin for this wild card, I chose a pin from the Flower and Garden Festival 2020. What little of it we had before it closed. Um, and I actually was excited to pick a spring pin because I mm -hmm. feel like this one is still great for springtime in April. And this one is the um, limited release uh, logo pin for the festival. And so it's called Homegrown. I think that was like the motto. Mm -hmm. And then it says Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2020. And it's got Mickey and he's got his like baskets of fruit and vegetables that he has just farmed from his garden. And of course you got spaceship earth there in the back which is our fave so I love that part about this pin too. 
I'm even more sad that Flower and Garden is closed because the, all of the merchandise was, it was so, so cute. cute this year. Which I feel like we had a very small window of time to we like did. purchase it. And it may come back to the outlets like once they open because I think, really they'll, I think they'll just be like shifting gears to the next festival like after it reopens, you know? Yeah. I don't think they're going to go back I and I hope try. we're not all ready to food and wine by the time. You know reopen. what I'm so sad about? Like, the thing I'm most sad about for the entire Flower and Garden Festival was that I didn't get a chance to try any of the food booths. Yeah. Because the few times we and were I there, didn't we really didn't see do food very booths. many of the topiaries. We didn't do, like, no. half of the World Showcase. <laughs> we do have a vlog that has we a few do. topiaries in it, and we um, did eat some things at Epcot. So I will, we can link that um, in a card and then down below if you guys want to check out that vlog. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to experience more. Mm-hmm. But anyway, this is not about Flower and Garden. This is about pins. <laughs> My pin for April Fools, I picked kind of a joke, punny pin because I, I really like it and I've never really shown punny. it off. And it's um, a Harami Wildlife Reserve Kilimanjaro Safaris pin that says, Safari so good and I ain't lying. Ha ha ha. I love Kilimanjaro safaris. If you've been around here for a while, you might know that. It's one of my favorites. Um, and Animal Kingdom is like my second favorite park after Epcot. Epcot mm -hmm. holds my heart, but Animal Kingdom's pretty close second. And I just love this pin because it's, it's funny, it's cute, it's like a nice font. I don't know. I just really like and it. And if I'm not mistaken, you got that, you traded for that I in did. a vlog, right? I did. So we can link that vlog too. I, I have, have to remember, remember which one it is. Was well, it the Christmas I think decorations it was resorts. at resorts? I yeah. Think I, I, was it like movies? I want to say. Yeah. Also like movies. I remember, I was vlogging like while you were training. Yeah. For that, so we'll see if we can find that. Yeah, that would be fun. I want to go back and watch that. Yeah. Our S prompt is sunny day showy pin with sunshine represented. So this could mean anything. If it has the sun on it, if it just is a sunny day on the pin, whatever you want. Get it to creative be. with this one. I think we both kind of got a little bit creative thought outside the box yeah. um, so I didn't have like the direct sun on right. my pin but I actually chose this um, license plate pin I believe it's from 2010 and this one is a Florida license plate which is one of the reasons I got it just because I thought it was hilarious um, and so it actually spells out cast member on the license plate and it's from Florida and it says Walt Disney World on the bottom and then the um, date and year is October 71 which was when Walt Disney World opened so I just thought like the, f the humor of this pin is great but the reason I chose it for this prompt is because Florida is known as the Sunshine, sunshine state. state. And so we are definitely representing sunshine. And so I just thought that this would be like kind of a fun play on a sun pin. So this one was a first release um, cast exclusive. So it was only released to cast members. And um, yeah, it's from 2010. It's ironic that we're called the Sunshine State. It's raining today. It rains so much. Although we actually haven't had that much rain. We haven't. I think we've had two days of rain in the last like month and a half. But today is a very rainy day when yes. we're filming this. <laughs> now for my Sunshine pin, I went with this Spring 2020 pin. I am so excited to see the rest of the pins in this set. This is like the quarterly set for this year. And this is the Spring pin and I had to get it because it's got Rapunzel and Pascal, two of my faves. And I picked this one because, you know, Rapunzel is the sun princess. She's yep. like the sun drop princess. And it just makes me think of sunshine. The whole movie her, of Tangled. like, the logo is the sun. It just makes me think of, like, sunshine and happiness. And so I picked this pin. Yeah. I think... And um, also springtime. In this, like, tag, we're really encouraging you guys to get creative. Yes. Like, we um, kind of enjoyed this as, like, an outlet for us to get creative with looking through our pins, mm -hmm. and also creating uh, these prompts. So get creative. The prompt for the letter T is share a pin that features a character whose name starts with T. So this one, again, you can look through your collection and find a T name. And if you're con if you're concerned there's not that many, there's Google a Google it. There are so there's a lot many of names Disney that characters that start And so with many T. that we forgot of. I was like ashamed at that. Yeah. But um, yeah, so there's like six in the movie Tarzan alone, okay? So <laughs> That's true. You're fine. <laughs> so the character that I chose for the letter T should not be a surprise to anyone, and that is Tramp from <laughs> Lady and the Tramp. I have quite a few Tramp pins, and this one is a Lady and the Tramp pin, and this one was actually released in the 
ornament series and so it comes in the cute little box that it says Bella Note spaghetti on it. It looks like a spaghetti box. And the pin itself says give me all the carbs, which honestly I feel like is relatable yeah. for the time that we're in right now. <laughs> Some of us are feeling this a little stronger than others, <laughs> but um, it's just super cute. It's the classic spaghetti scene where they have the spaghetti going between their mouths and yeah, it says give me all the carbs. <laughs> so this is the pin for tea. So my character who starts with T, I picked this thumper pin that we also opened in a video now that I think about it. This was in a hidden Mickey oh, yeah. couch. Um, so I'll link that video too. If we you guys are looking for things stuff. to watch, we're going to link, we're gonna them, link for them for you. Um, but this is a thumper pin. It's so cute. Um, we managed, actually I'm not going to spoil who all we opened in that, oh, yeah. in that video, but I love this set. It's so cute. I'm not the hugest Bambi fan, but it does make me think springtime. It makes me think like warm fuzzies. I mean, I know it's sad, I mean, but like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. The it's second it's so cute. And like the first, like the first bit of it is so cute and fluffy, like when yeah. they're all babies and I just love them. So I chose this thumper pin because you know, his name starts with T. It's definitely the most like iconic springtime yeah. movie. And I've already shared a pin with Tigger and he was my other first thought. So for the second E of the word Easter, the prompt is to share a pin with an egg on it. So either this is a pin that's egg shaped or it has an egg or like it is an egg. is an egg you can you know like we keep saying be creative and do whatever you want really <laughs> so for my egg pin or pin with an egg on it I actually have this one which is a Chippendale Easter pin and so they are kind of like passing back and forth the Easter eggs I think there's like five or six eggs on this pin lots of them um, but at first I thought they were like fighting for it but they actually are both smiling and look like they're being gentle Aww. so um, I think they're just sharing the eggs so they're in like this cute little garden scene and they are passing lots of Easter eggs back and forth this one is from Disneyland and it's a limited edition of 2500 you know what I imagine this scene what's happening here what is those are all of the eggs that Daisy hid for Donald and they've just stolen them all Yep, I think they went and, go and found them all they and found are like collecting egg them. Eggs. That's what I bet happened. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of Donald, <laughs> check out my pin. It's a giant egg. It's so big. <laughs> it is this Donald Duck egg shaped pin. This is a limited release pass holder exclusive. They make these, I want to say like one every year, mm -hmm. pretty much. They've been making them for the past few years that they've had the egg hunt at Epcot. And it's so cute. I love this like it's just it's so big and like it hefty is, yeah. like it's yeah it's and I pin. think um last year's was the Pluto pin and that one is super duper cute oh, you're because right. this it's is, also what is this, 2018 yeah I think yeah we have shown a few of these other pins yes. on the channel previously and they're just really cool to like all get stacked together because they're so big yes and our final letter in the word Easter is R so our R prompt is show a pin with a rabbit on it. You can't have Easter without a bunny or a rabbit mm -hmm. or something like that. <laughs> so we are going with a rabbit for the letter R. So yes, a bunny counts. Yes, a bunny counts. A bunny, bunny counts. counts. So my rabbit pin for this year is this adorable little thumper pin. And this one is the Easter pin from 2018. And it ha says, Happy Easter. It has thumper and a cute little chick um, next to an Easter egg. And they're like sitting in a garden. And it's like everything that you love about spring mm -hmm. is in this pin. You have flowers, you have a thumper, you have a little chick and Easter eggs and it's just like super springy. And I love the back card of this pen as well. It's decorated like the Easter egg, which mm -hmm. I think is super cool. So that is my rabbit pin for this tag. My rabbit or bunny pin is this Ducky and Bunny pin. This is a Loungefly <laughs> pin from Toy Story 4. I love Ducky and Bunny. They're two of my new faves in the Toy Story canon, honestly. I just think they're hilarious and they wonderful are. and I want the plushies like really bad yes. because they're so plushy. But yeah, so this is a Ducky and Bunny pin from Loungefly. It's really, really cute and it's my bunny. For this so answer. you could do a bunny, you could yeah. do a rabbit, you could do a stuffed animal. Yep. The options are endless. endless. <laughs> so that is it for our E-A-S-T-E-R 
tag. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I think it's time for us to tag some people. The first person we would like to tag is our friend Nina from Wrestling with Disney because we just love watching her do pin tags. Mm -hmm. She does a really fun job. <laughs> she really that. does. The next person that we would like to tag is our friend Heather from the Disney Housewife. We want to see your springtime pins. The next person we would like to tag is our friend Rita from Enchanted Rita, mainly because I know she has a giant thumper collection. Yep. And I want to see her pull some of them out. <laughs> <laughs> and the final person that we would like to tag in this Easter acrostic pin tag is our friend Cassidy from Magical Martini. We know that you have a huge pin collection and I can't wait to see some of the pins that you're going to pull out for this one. So that is it for this tag today guys. If you guys want to do it, let us know. Go for it. You can go ahead and let us know in a comment and we'll go over and watch it. If you liked this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Disney magic. Be sure to hit the notification bell next to the subscription button so you don't miss any future videos from us. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.